Goa, a place of celebration where cultures from the East meets the West, a land where the sun, the sea and the sand create magic, where an enchanting brew of history filters down to an engaging culture, where creative minds dance to the flow of the shores like the TSC, where, be it rain or shine, the energy on the streets never die, where there is a delicious platter for both your soul and your palate. And finally, Goa is the land where quality finds a natural expression, where aesthetics are defined. As Goa gears up for the 49th International Film Festival of India, here is your invite to be a part of a journey of celebrating the joy of cinema and filmmaking. Thank you all for coming uh, early in the morning today. Uh, thank you, Kriti and Adil, for allowing me to moderate. Thank you, Mr. Avil. Uh, since we are trying to get to know more about our panelists, I thought we'd just talk about something all three of us have in common, which is uh, we've all spent a significant part of our lives in Delhi. So, uh, start with you. How was it to make the move from Delhi to Bombay? And Adil, of course, you still live in Delhi. So. Oh, you still live in Delhi? That's amazing. I miss Delhi like how. Uh, I'm born and brought up in Delhi and uh, we often have these debates of Delhi versus Bombay. Uh, that, that's, that's never going to end uh, and I wish, I, I, I think as a city I love Delhi uh, but now because of the kind of work I do, um, I, Bombay has also become like a second home. And I wish I could pick the whole industry up and put it in Delhi. That would be great. We'd have, we have more space there, I feel. <laughs> uh, I had uh, the opportunity of working with a few directors like Shujit Sarkar and all uh, during my um, commercial, TV commercial uh, period where uh, they sort of encouraged me and they said, you know, you have that acting thing in you. So just explore it. Don't let it just go and see what you like, see if you like it. And I did, and uh, I moved to Mumbai after I completed my BTEC. I had three job offers in my hand. It was a little hard to convince my parents, uh, but uh, I think they've always supported me, which is the reason why I am here today. So yeah, that was my move from Delhi to Mumbai. Um, Delhi had been, uh Sort of, I took my rebirth in Delhi uh, when I went to study at the National School of Drama. I didn't know the word aesthetics in English. And uh, when I was doing a class uh, and I was told that I would be taught what aesthetics or aesthetic mean, I was like, what is this word? And then, anyway, so NSD had been the place where I said in the the last day of my class that I was, was reborn here and it became my home. I'm emotionally connected to National School of Drama. I started teaching there since 1998. And roads are wider, uh, she said, and houses are a little wider and uh, you get wonderful uh, street food. All kinds of food. And also the fact that I wanted to stay away from the glamour and the glitter of the, the paraphernalia of filmmaking because I love acting <clears throat> and after that I should have nothing to do with anything else ideally like this part is not my favorite part um, because it to takes me away comfort. from the prime reason why I have entered to act and acting is something that I can I can be in for hours and days and months and years and then after that, I should be uh, excused. How do you guys pick the roles that you're going to do next? I think for a lot of the writer-directors in the audience, that's an interesting thing to understand. I think uh, there's no formula to it, I feel. Um, for me, I think it's always been more instinctive. Um, when I'm hearing a script, there has to be something that attracts me to it. Firstly, I sometimes try to think as janta, like I, I feel I hear a script or I read a script and I feel is this a film I would want to watch firstly, uh, if the answer is yes, then I think I move on to other things like 
you know, how the character is, is it attracting me, is it going to be exciting for me as an actor to play. Or sometimes even there's certain people involved in a particular project who you really want to work with. And you know, you really want to experience and maybe learn from them. So uh, I think all films sometimes have a different reason of why you say yes. But as long as you know what the reason is, I think it's fine to go with whatever you're feeling. Uh, with me, uh, similar, very similar, uh, pretty, I won't say instinctive, I would use the word intuitive, uh, because I feel like, strongly feel, uh, it, it, I, I get connected to the role or the story, and um, uh, I, 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 I have to like the director uh, when I speak to uh, the person, that I am going to spend a few days of my life with these people, so can't be a brick. So, um, How do you yeah. guess that in the first yeah, no, meeting? I, I have a meeting and I have to like the person, otherwise I don't. Because I'd rather go and cook uh, for my wife and my child uh, than spending time on the set with, with people I don't like. It's as simple as that. Um, apart from that, I think something that script talks about that I haven't done before and uh, which is relevant, which is a bit layered at least, but it's very difficult to find script which, are talk, which talks about human behavior and, and the complexity of human behavior, behavior uh, which is very difficult to find. Uh, but I've been lucky to get few uh, from different parts of the world. So yes, and that's that. And if I have the time, and uh, if the, sometimes if the money is good, sometimes uh, in micro-budget film also I act it. Uh, recently acted in a film in a Kasi language, uh, the budget was 16 lakhs. So my mode of transport in the city of Shillong was a scooty, which was my also, uh, which was also my uh, vehicle that I use, the character uses, so, yeah. Hi, ma'am. <laughs> um, so I'm Adira, I'm from Rewa University, Bangalore. I just want to ask the question that uh, where do you find the regional or the parallel films in future? Like, will it be restricted in the film festivals or will it hit uh, the other areas? Like, like the commercial films are getting all the impact in films. So where do you find regional films uh, in the future? I think regional films are doing damn well. I feel like whether it's Telugu, whether it's Tamil, no. whether it's Marathi. The, the parallel films actually. The parallel films. You mean not Robo? Yeah, yeah yes. not like that. Uh, Robo is a pretty ones. regional film. Yeah. I think it's a good time for, uh, you call it parallel cinema, we call it independent films these days, or art house films. It's doing pretty, it's a, it's a beginning of a good time. A good thing. No, it's not much. Because before, you know, kind of actor, the, the, the kind of films that, you know, I would have liked, liked to do uh, happening more and I don't get time even to stay in Delhi and I'm traveling across the world. Uh, so I think uh, those who want to do films of this nature, uh, there are platforms, digital platforms and more festivals are uh, happening like Dharamshala Film Festival for that matter. And uh, Jagaran Festival is traveling into three or 18 or 19 different cities to show and educate people to watch something which is complex uh, and not on the face all the time. They have their space also. Uh, all the multiplexes are there, you know, 3,000 screens or 5,000 screens. But uh, films like, for example, the Kasi film that I'm in. So those are getting spaces now. I, I think it's a good, good days uh, there. I mean, it's coming. It's drop in the ocean, but the beginning of a good time. I think it's no, no, because, uh, sir, I, I, you are watching sure experience okay. with uh, DOP Russell Carpenter. Russell Carpenter, are you in the camera? You are. I am interested in. Oh, you are interested? Okay. Uh, Russell Carpenter, um, I worked. I just did one scene in that film, uh, Parched, and he took uh, uh, one whole night to light up the whole cave, and he he's like a painter. I mean, he um, he t he doesn't give up. So, like, in India, I see quite often in the set, like, ha, chal jayega. So, they don't say chal jayega. It has to happen, what we have imagined, it has to happen. For actors, there is no difference. 
in production house they will label as a listers and other things now you are in the lister uh, actresses so still you have to go through acting i mean uh, audition process with casting director for any every new film uh no not not for every new film i think it it kind of depends on the director what the director wants sometimes the director wants to see how you approach a particular character before they cast you um and sometimes it's not required uh but but not necessarily the casting director sometimes the director themselves also kind of audition you i did audition um Dino uh, Dinesh Vijan had called me uh, to the office. In fact, it was supposed to be a meeting. I was not even prepared for the audition, and he just uh, had called Sushant also there, which I was not aware of. And he just took out a scene and he said, "Just take ten minutes, and then let's let's just do it and see how it flows." So um, yeah, I took my time to learn lines and to see how I'm gonna do it, and then we we did that scene a couple of times. I think. uh he sort of wanted to gauge how i approach that character i how i approach that scene and also he wanted to see how me and sushant sort of complement each other in the scene are we able to generate some sort of chemistry without knowing each other um are we able to uh, you know they, like he was looking for some magic he was looking for something that happens in the scene that convinces him that okay this is Saira, that that's the character. So when we did that scene, I I remember doing it two three times, and then something happened, and me and Sushant we started completing each other's lines. Like he forgot one dialogue, and I completed it. I I I said something differently. He followed up. So I think the energy, the character, you know how you're close to it, how you're approaching it. Sometimes the director wants to see, and, and there's nothing wrong in that. So I would always be willing to do it. Uh, I would like to ask. So, would you consider Hangul Theatre to be your alma mater or DNSD? Hangul Theatre. Uh, for people those who don't know about that, as we have a big tradition of mobile theatre uh, companies in. Uh, definitely not Hangul Theatre. No way close. Uh, NSD National School Drama. Uh, and when are we getting more of Kothanodi and uh, Mazrati ke degi? When are we getting more of such films to the industry? Um, I have no idea because I wish I could write and uh, direct, but I am just a you know just a component in a film. So whenever they ask if Sri Ram has got, a, he never cast me after that. So I'm publicly saying it. Uh, so if somebody cast me, I'm ready to act in good. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is Ram Bunker. I am a film student at FTI. Hi. Hello, sir. Uh, I am a screenwriting student. So my question is: uh, a director looks at a script differently. A art, uh, art director looks at it from his perspective. A cinematographer looks from his perspective. Perspective: what he wants to do with the scene. How do you guys, as actor, for both of you, how do you, what do you look in a script as actors? Uh, I think. Uh your question is sort of similar to what he had asked where how do we say yes to a film and what what uh, when you read a scene yeah do you try to connect it with your personality what? are you trying to say how do we approach a script or how do we approach a scene yeah uh well as i said there's i, I there's no one way of approaching it i think uh, i sometimes like to uh, draw a back story of the character there are things which are not written in the script so it's always nice so when you have a story in your head because then you feel like you know the person um where the character is coming from in that particular scene uh there are sometimes certain things that the character is saying and there are times when certain things the character is not saying so trying to understand that like i sort of like making my notes and I'm, i'm hello sir actually i am uh, vikas kumar i am com uh, coming from uh, delhi and i want to ask one question uh, from uh, dil sir uh, sir ye kaise pata lage ki ek director ek actor se kya chahta hai ek being a actor <laughs> kaise pata lage usko ki ek director usse kya chahta hai mujhe bilkul nahi maloom agar mujhe pata hota 
तो अच्छी बात होती लेकिन आ, मेरे ख्याल से बहुत अलग अलग किस्म के डायरेक्टर्स होते हैं उनका भा, उनके जो भाषा है मतलब हम हिंदी अंग्रेजी की बात नहीं कर रहा हूँ जो क्रिएटिव भाषा है उसको समझने के लिए आ, अपने आप को बहुत खुला छोड़ना पड़ता है कि अब क्या बोलूँ जैसे मुझे याद है मैंने श्री राम जी से मैंने शेयर किया था एंगली ने मुझे आके बोला अचानक से आ, बहुत वो पैदल आया एक मिनट लगता है पैदल आने में उनका थ्री डी स्क्रीन के पास आके मेरे कान में बोला जा रही है जी हाँ आई लाइक यू टू पुट टेन परसेंट अफेक्शन टू योर स्टर्ननेस अफेक्शन टू योर स्टर्ननेस दस परसेंट प्यार जोड़िए आप जो इतना गुस्सा कर रहे हैं उसके साथ दस परसेंट उसमें प्यार भी जोड़िए तो मुझे समझ में आ गया था लेकिन उनको कैसे पता है कि मुझे ये समझ में आएगा अगर वो कहता कोई इंटेलेक्चुअल इंटरप्रेशन जैसे ना माइक योर कैरेक्टर इज यू नो व्हाट इज बिकॉज यू ग्रो अप इन अ सर्टेन सिचुएशन एंड ब्ला 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 आई वुड हैव बीन मे बी हमारे यहाँ बोलते हैं ना दस पैसा ऊपर कर दो या दस, दस पैसा, पैसा नीचे कर दो करेक्ट यस आई थिंक इट वाज अ वेरी सोफिस्टिकेटेड वे ऑफ सेइंग द सेम थिंग टेन परसेंट मेनी ऑफ द सिनेमाटोग्राफर्स फॉर मी आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट इट कैन बी करेक्टेड लेटर इट कैन बी डन लेटर so that they don't worry about it the, i have seen some f- people while working and they were on the mobile phones while shoot is going on so the, how much commitment there they how, how much it has been lost there who are the creators who are the others these questions raised me in many occasions so therefore i think it to uh, to make the content at the end there is a filmmaker in the very beginning from the start of his first writing that content portion once there is a commitment a extremely high co- uh, commitment in the very beginning of the film when it was shot in celluloid it can happen even now with the digital things but then there is a loss among there is an increase uh, number of filmmakers because it is accessible to many people like a social media when it comes to the social media who is a film critic and the film criticism is lost sheer because there's a and everybody can commit everybody can comment and the critic was more in one way if you uh, check the who is the film critic he has a right position in a society that grows but here everybody is feeling critic you see a film they if they don't understand something which is been beyond their head they say it is a bad film and that la- the lack of knowledge on certain things always um, put the cinema in the kind of what you call the digital media what i say now at this moment is that it has been acts uh, reviewed very easily it has been criticized very easily and it has no longer much life than earlier i will love to hear the answer from the person one who is not from india abroad uh and i want i want to know the difference between the indian films and foreign films in a sense from your country and if you find any difference as a content wise as a make wise technical wise do you feel that indian film is somewhere behind or somewhere in front or what we just want to know what is the stand of indian film today in general thank so there's a book uh, written by a very famous hollywood producer peter guber he produced rain man so many academy award winning films and as a producer he was very much uh moved by the story of that woman in, in who was taking care of the gorillas in africa what's her name forget her name uh folly or something and so he he had uh developed a script called gorillas in the mist which at that time had uh no real publicity other than through the book 
And he went to the head of Paramount Studios to pitch this. They're all friends, you know, they know each other, slap each other on the back for all their awards. And he went in and he pitched this idea of doing a film about the gorillas and how she took care of the gorillas and how she died there. And the, the uh, head of the studio said to him, he said, you know, we lost millions, millions on, on King Kong. He says, I don't want to hear the word gorilla for the rest of my life. So, you know, Peter was like, he'd given him all the demographics, how much, you know, the people are into it, all the, all the stats. Nothing worked. And the guy says, just, just, Peter, get out of my office. I have another person coming in here. I don't want to hear about gorillas. But Peter had a passion about the plight of the gorillas. And uh, so he just lay down on the floor of the office. And he wouldn't leave. He said, Peter, get out of here. Get out. He wouldn't go. Stay with me on this. So the other appointment came in. He said, What's, why is Peter lying on the floor? He says, oh, Peter wants to do a movie about gorillas. And I'm not doing any movies about gorillas because they, they lost, you know, $100 million. But Peter would not leave that floor. He stayed there through that entire meeting and finally, this friend of his, who was the head of the studio, because they have a lot of respect for each other, he said, Peter, what do I got to do to get you to leave my office? And Peter says, you have to green light this movie, Gorillas in the Mist. <laughs> and you know, the guy did it. And that movie went on to win an Acad many Academy Awards and make a ton of money for the studio. So that's how much you have to, example of how much you have to be passionate about your stories. 49 International Film Festival in Goa. And we see a lot of films, we see a lot of people here, we understand the culture and culture exchange. And I'm going to talk with them now, I've also talked with them, so I've also come to understand one thing, एक आर्टिस्ट की सच्चाई कितनी होती है इतने सच्चाई के साथ आंसर कर सकता है तो उसी उसके साथ हम बात करेंगे हमारे साथ है चेयरमैन ऑफ नॉन फीचर फिल्म इफी 2018 विनोद गणत्रा सर सर वेलकम टू द शो सबसे पहले मैं शुरू करना चाहता हूँ फिल्म आप चेयरमैन है नॉन फीचर फिल्म्स के तो फिल्म सिलेक्शन पे एंड क्या क्राइटेरिया होते हैं और कैसे क्या सिलेक्शन होता है और क्या फ़ायदा हो सकता है इन फिल्म्स का न्यू कमर्स के लिए देखिए ये हाँ है हमारे पास 109 फिल्में थी और वो 109 फिल्म हमने दो ग्रुप में डिवाइड किए दैट दो ग्रुप में से चयन करके हमने एक सेंटर जूरी हुई और उसमें से हमने फिल्में सिलेक्ट की 109 में से हमें 20 फिल्में सिलेक्ट करनी थी अब हमारे पास इतनी अच्छी अच्छी फिल्में थी ऑफ डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट डिफरेंट ट्रीटमेंट डिफरेंट क्वालिटी और इतनी अच्छी फिल्में और हमारे बहुत बड़ी दुविधा थी चले इसको छोड़ें उसको छोड़ें ये वाले और 60 परसेंट शॉर्ट फिल्म थी जो नए डेब्यू फिल्म मेकर की तो कई भी ये दर्द कहा था कि यार यार ये इसको कैसे छोड़ें लेकिन रिस्ट्रिक्शंस के हिसाब से हमें काम करना पड़ा हम शॉर्ट फिल्म्स या फिर नॉन फीचर फिल्म्स इसके बारे में बात करें तो रीजनल फिल्म्स भी बहुत सारी इम्पैक्ट करी आजकल बहुत रीजनल अच्छे अच्छे फिल्म्स आ रही है अपना खुद का टॉपिक अपना खुद का जो इश्यूज़ है वो दिखाने की कोशिश करें उसके ऊपर आप क्या कहना चाहिए नहीं वो वो तो बहुत सरप्राइजिंग एलिमेंट है हमारे लिए मैं तो एज आई सेट कि सेवेंटी फेस्टिवल्स में जूरी जा चुका हूँ दुनिया में मेरे लिए बहुत बड़े बात है और आठ फेस्टिवल्स में मैं एज चेयरमैन जूरी रहा हूं तो उसके बाद मैंने जो सीखा है इन न्यू फिल्म मेकर से रीजनल फिल्में आप इतनी खूबसूरत फिल्में होती हैं और एक हर एक की अपनी स्टाइल है हर एक की अपनी कहानी है कहने की और उसका तरीका जो है वो इतना खूबसूरत होता है और देखिए वो आप कोंकणी खाना खाएंगे तो आपको अलग टेस्ट मिलेगा सेम चाल दाल चावल आप यूपी के उसमें खाएंगे तो आपको टेस्ट अलग है चीज़ एक ही है सिनेमा एक ही है लेकिन उसका टेस्ट अलग होता है रिजनल का अपना टेस्ट अलग आ जाता है 
और बहुत खूबसूरत फिल्म एक बात आपने बहुत अच्छी कही कि सिनेमा वही है लेकिन टेस्ट अलग अलग हो सकता है जहाँ पे मैं आपसे बात कर रहा था तो तो फीचर अपने नॉन फीचर फिल्म या फीचर फिल्म इसके बारे में भी आप बात कर रहे थे कि दो कैटेगरीज बनाई गई है आपका क्या कहना है इसके ये देखिए ये बहुत बहुत बुरा ट्रेंड पहले से चल रहा है जो नॉन फीचर है उसको स्टेप मदरली ट्रीटमेंट दी जाती है फीचर को सब कुछ दिया जाएगा डी वाले दिल्ली में हम बैठ के इतनी मेहनत करते हैं इतनी मदद करते हैं हम लोगों को ऑल काइंड्स ऑफ फैसिलिटीज़ आर गिवन बाय सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट डी इतना होने के बाद भी जब ग्राउंड पे यहाँ आ रहे हैं हम तो इट्स सच ए सैड थिंग ये मुझे कहते हुए दुख हो रहा है कि एंटरटेनमेंट सोसाइटी ने कोई उसके बारे में सोचा ही नहीं उनको सिर्फ फीचर फिल्म फीचर फीचर मैं इतनी डिस्क्रिपेंसीज हो रही हैं इतना इंसल्ट फील हो रहा है कि ये नॉन फीचर को तो कचरा भी नहीं समझते और मैं तो उनमें से भी डॉक्यूमेंट्री और नॉन फीचर से भी मैं गया गुजरा हूँ मैं चिल्ड्रन फिल्म मेकर हूँ तो आपको तो और थर्ड ग्रेड ट्रीटमेंट देते हैं सोचते ही नहीं आपकी तरफ देखते नहीं इट्स सच ए नहीं उनके माइंड सेट ही अरे नहीं नहीं अरे नॉन फीचर उनको सब स्टार सबको अपने स्टार के साथ सेल्फी लेनी है या फोटो खिंचवाना है और उनको जो नहीं भी चाहिए वो अपनी दादागिरी करेंगे तब तो उसके बावजूद भी वो फीचर वालों को ये करेंगे आपको मैं बताऊँ आई वॉज शॉक कि मुझे ओपनिंग सेरेमनी के लिए गाड़ी नहीं मिली मुझे बस में जाना पड़ा वहाँ जाने के बाद जो हमारे हमारे दोस्त हैं राहुल रावेल जी के लिए को फ्रंट में थे वो वो भी चेयरमैन हैं मैं भी चेयरमैन था लेकिन मैं सातवीं आठवीं लाइन में कहीं कोने में मुझे बिठा दिया वो वहाँ मेरा नाम लिखा हुआ है आप वहाँ जाके बैठो ये ये बड़े शर्म की बात है मेरे लिए मुझे कोई फिल्म मेकर मैं बहुत छोटा फिल्म मेकर करूँ मैं कहीं भी घूमता हूँ कहीं भी रहता हूँ कहीं भी खाता हूँ मुझे कोई मैं कोई नहीं चाहता लेकिन ये जो आप नॉन फीचर को जो ट्रीट करते हो और मैंने ये चीज़ 2004 में भी देखी है और आज भी देख रहा हूँ सिनेमा की हम बात कर रहे हैं ये फिल्म फेस्टिवल इंडियन सिनेमा का भी है तो एक कॉन्सेप्ट या फिर एक बात हमें आजकल बहुत सुने थे मी टू के ऊपर आपका टेक इम्पोर्टेंट है क्योंकि आप चेयरमैन भी हैं इस चीज़ के सो आप देखिए मी टू एक ऐसा फेज आया किसी ने वो शुरुआत कर दी तो अरे मी टू मी टू मी टू क्या है मैं भी मैं, मैं भी, भी मैं भी तो वो भेड़ बकरी वाला हिसाब हो गया कि वो एक ने मैं कहा तो दूसरे ने बोला मैं भी मैं भी मैं भी वो शुरू हो ये ये ऐसा नहीं होता है एक ज़िंदगी में आप देखिए जो मी टू कहते हैं उन्होंने कोई ना कोई फ़ायदा तो लिया ही है आई विल नॉट एग्री कि नहीं नहीं जी देखिए इट इज़ अ क्राइम टू एक्सपर्ट समबड़ी बट इट इज़ ऑल्सो ए क्राइम टू गेट एक्सप्लोटेड आपको कोई एक्सपर्ट कर रहा है आप उसी वक्त आपने ये करना चाहिए था ये मेरी बिलीफ है आई मे बी रॉन्ग कई सिचुएशन में लोग मजबूरी से भी जाते हैं लेकिन अभी तो बहुत सारे एक्ट्रेसेस और आ रहे हैं आगे सर सर ये तो आना ही है ये थोड़ा सा फेड आएगा और धीरे 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 देखिए वो आपके पास एविडेंस होता नहीं है और कुछ नहीं होता हाँ कुछ मीडिया ने ज़्यादा उछालना शुरू कर दिया इसलिए हो गया है लेकिन मुझे नहीं लगता कि उसमें ऐसी कोई सीरियसनेस होगी और धीरे धीरे वो एक आप सोडा अब बोतल खोलो ना <laughs> तो उफा <laughs> आता है हाँ और फिर धीरे धीरे वो सब साइड लेकिन इसका इम्पैक्ट पड़ेगा क्या सर इंडियन सिनेमा के ऊपर नहीं नहीं इंडियन सिनेमा के ऊपर कोई ऐसा कोई होगा नहीं लेकिन जो गंदी रीतों से जो लोग करते हैं उनको एक डर सा जरूर लगेगा लगे। डेफिनेटली लगेगा इसका मी टू का एक फ़ायदा भी है कि ये जो दूसरे जो अभी जो पहले हो चुका है किसने क्या फ़ायदा लिया दोनों तरफ से फ़ायदा लिया गया है ऐसे कोई कोई ये दूध का धोला नहीं होता कोई ये नहीं कह सकता और कोई लेडी ये नहीं कह सकती कि मुझे ये वो नहीं है लेकिन इसका फ़ायदा ज़रूर होगा आज आगे जाके जो एक्सप्लोइटर्स जो हैं उनके ऊपर डेफिनेटली इसका असर होगा और इन आई गिव क्रेडिट टू दिस वमेन जिन्होंने ये झंडा उठाया वो उन्होंने बहुत अच्छी सेवा की है देश की या एटलीस्ट औरतों के लिए ये बहुत बड़ा इम्पोर्टेंट स्टेप हो गया ये पब्लिसिटी की कोई यूज कर सकता है क्या सर नहीं पब्लिसिटी के लिए तो करते हैं ना लोग और वो पब्लिसिटी उनको मिलती है मीडिया देती है उनको 
तो वो मसाला तो मिलता ही है यार एनीवे सर इतनी सच्चाई से बात करने के लिए एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच हमारे साथ बने रहने के साथ थैंक यू थैंक यू हमेशा याद रखूंगा ये इंटरव्यू सर थैंक यू वेरी मच सर